R. Kelly is a predator. R&B singer R. Kelly was sentenced to 30 years in prison for sexual abuse, marking the end of a sordid, stunning fall for the multi-platinum artist, who at 55 could spend the rest of his life behind bars. The sentence was imposed nine months after Kelly was convicted of racketeering and sex crimes, which included luring women and underage girls into his orbit for sex. Federal prosecutor Breon Peace. With the aid of his fame, his money, and most importantly, his inner circle, R. Kelly preyed upon children and young women for his own sexual gratification for decades. He continued committing his crimes for almost 30 years and avoided punishment until today. The sentencing came after several accusers, some of them tearful, told the judge about how Kelly promised to mentor them and help them attain stardom, only to subject them to degrading sexual treatment and physical harm. Lizette Martinez was among them. Today was a very special but hard day for us. I personally, this happened to me a long time ago. I was 17, I'm 45 today. I never thought that I would be here to see him be held accountable for the atrocious things that he did to children. Prosecutors had asked for more than 25 years, arguing he showed a callous disregard for his victims and showed no remorse. Kelly's lawyer, Jennifer Bonjean, said the singer would appeal. For us, it's just the beginning of the fight, frankly. Kelly did not speak during Wednesday's hearing, but has repeatedly denied sexual abuse accusations. He will likely be transported soon to a jail in Chicago, where he faces an August trial in federal court on child pornography and obstruction charges. He also faces various state charges in Illinois and Minnesota.